Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Scott. This week we're going to talk about fulfillment policies, what they are and what they do. We'll do that when we get right back. Hey guys, so this fulfillment policy, what that all does is it allows you to control what percentage of the order is released. So if you've got a customer that needs a fulfillment of 100% or 90% or 80%, you can set these policies up um, to specify for a customer when an order can be released, okay? So you can set up a default for, a, for the company, and I I'd, I'd recommend you do set that up for the company. I'm gonna show you where those defaults are. And then you can also set it up on the exact customer. So if you've got a customer that requires 100%, that order will not be released to the warehouse until you get 100% fulfillment rate or 100% reservation on the, on the sales order, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at the first of the setup and then I'm gonna give you an example. We're gonna use a customer, uh, the Caves Wholesales for this and give you the example and, and show you how that works. First thing we're gonna take a look at is the fulfillment uh, policy setup. So let's go underneath uh, warehouse management set up and then all the way at the end there's this release to warehouse and fulfillment policies so right now i've got one in here it's called default 65 percent the fulfillment rate is 65 percent is based off of quantity but let's create a new one here so we'll go ahead and do new and then we'll put um 100 uh, ship so this is for a customer that um, requires 100 ship full shipment right so the fulfillment rate on this one will make it uh, 100 the value type, you can, you've can you got a couple different selections. You've got none, price, or quantity. I'm gonna do it off of quantity, but know that you can do it off of a percentage of the price um, or none. Maybe a lot of times on your def your default, you don't want it to, uh, you know, anything that you can ship on your default, uh, you want it to go out, so you might choose none. But we're gonna do on qu quantity on this one, and then the, the message, we can either accept, which just automatically accepts if it's, a, if it's under, uh, can throw a warning or can stop stop the person, which would be the error. So on this one, I'm going to choose error, okay? And then we'll save that. So the default one, again, has got a warning, was the different, and it's doing it 65%. So you set up default values for the company. So if we go into your accounts receivable first and look at the accounts receivable parameters, underneath the warehouse management section, uh, there's a spot here for your default or fulfillment policy. Now, I believe uh, if, you, if this is blank, it's going to require 100% fulfillment. So if you're ever setting up the warehouse management module and, and you notice if you don't uh, ship 100%, it, it gives you a warning or errors out on the, uh, on the uh, release, go ahead and make sure you come here and check this. Now, on the other side of that, there is a transfer order one as well. So if we look at the transfer order side, we're going to go under inventory management. Uh, inventory and warehouse management parameters and then we'll look at the transfer orders and we have the same sort of field here on the transfer order fulfillment policy okay so my company policy on on both of these i've got those set at 65 percent so you can also set these on the individual customer level so if i go back to accounts receivable and go to all customers we'll pick a customer here so we'll just go ahead and pick uh, us 004 cave wholesales and we'll open that one up and what we want to do is we're going to scroll down to the warehouse section and we, we're going to go ahead and hit edit. And for this customer, we're going to go ahead and choose, we'll do 100% ship on that customer there. Okay, so now that this is saved, let's go and create a sales order for Cave Wholesales. So we're going to go down to uh, sales and marketing. We're going to go to all sales orders. And where these fulfillment policies take place is on the actual release of the sales order or the transfer order. All right, we're going to go ahead and put in our US-004 account. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to use uh, Warehouse 24 today. So we'll put 24 in there. And we're going to say OK. All right, so let's go ahead and add a line to this. We're going to put it using A001. And then let's go ahead and put a quantity of 10 on this one. All right, so if we go ahead and take a look at the inventory reservations, and we're going to change this reservation from 10 to 8. So that would be a 80% uh, shipping rate, right? So the thing to remember is on this customer, we specified 100% ship rate, and on the company, it's a 60% ship rate. So since we're using this exact customer, an 80% 80, 80 ship rate should, should fail for us here, okay? So we're gonna close that screen, and let's go into the warehouse. And as I mentioned, this works on the release, so let's go ahead and press the release to warehouse. 
and then we get the error here. Fulfillment rate of 100% was not met for the sales order. Okay, so this is being controlled by that uh, by that uh, fulfillment uh, policy that's set on the customer. Now this does work on, uh, so let's go ahead and pull this up here. We'll copy that sales order so I have it. This does work on the batch release as well. So if I go into warehouse management and I go to the release to warehouse, and then the automatic release of sales orders. Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, the uh, parameters here. So you can allow the release of partial partially released orders. You want to probably make that set. Mine is up at 100% on this one sales order, so I'm going to um, I'll I'll leave that at no because it's going to going to do it. Actually, let's go ahead and do, do that as yes anyway. Um, quantity release will be physical reserved. Uh, keep reservations on release failure. So what that'll do is that'll get rid of your your reservations if if for whatever reason it fails. So if if it doesn't meet the requirements, it's going to uh, check the requirement. It'll fail it, and then it'll release the reservations off the order there. Okay. So records to include. Let's go ahead and let's specify an exact sales order on this one. So we only run it on one. And let's see, do I have sales order on here? I don't, so let's go ahead and add that to it here. Sales order, and we should have like a sales order number there, and we'll put that in there in the criteria. Say okay there. And so we're specifying exact sales order, and then we'll go ahead and say okay. So what I'll expect here when this runs is that that sales order will not be released because it isn't meeting the criteria. All right, so that finished running. Um, to give us a message here, and it's going to tell us that the fulfillment rate wasn't met on that sales order for that batch release. All right, so there we have it. It's the fulfillment policies. Now, one of the things I didn't really explain to you, there's a, there's a checkbox that says release order reservations if it fails. So what a lot of people use that batch for, that release of sales orders, automatic release of sales orders, there's a warehouse management parameter that allows you to create reservations when that runs, when, they're, when the orders are released. So if you don't have automatic reservations turned on, or if you're doing back orders and you don't want to go back into the orders and, and manually reserve the orders, in warehouse management you can flip the flag that allows the reservations to be created when the orders are released. So that flag that uh, releases the reservations, if it fails, so what happens will, will be when the order is released, it'll create reservations on the items, and then if it fails for the fulfillment policy, for example, you get reservations out there, so you may want to release those, right? So that's what that flag's for. I didn't really explain it that well when I was, when I was doing recording the example, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, hope you found some value in it. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. That helps me on the distribution of the video. And I put out one of these videos once or twice a week. Um, so if you enjoy this type of content, you learn something from it, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get notified when, they, when I upload a new video, okay? So until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you later.